Hi everybody, it's Cheryl with the Craft Nut 32 and I just want to share a quick card that I've made. This was a nice easy card to make. It was a stamped card using some paper tray ink stamps. It's from the um, Fusion Flower number 8 stamp set and it's a dandelion. It's really cute. I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, I have stamped the background green flowers in the shabby shutter and the darker ones with the peeled paint, both distress inks. The yellow here is stamped with the mustard seed. It was really easy. I just kind of found my center and I kind of measured up one inch from the bottom, gave myself some visuals, and I just stamped it, the rest of it. Um, this darker yellow part right here is from a die that comes with the set. And then around the die, I just used some distress ink that was on my distressing tool. I didn't dunk it in, or sorry, press it down to the ink or anything like that. I just used the leftovers to kind of give it a little bit of definition. I don't know if it's showing, um, but I used some white chalk ink, some Studio G ink. I think it's chalk ink anyway, so I used some Studio G to stamp the inside of the cut dyed yellow portion. Anyways, so the sentiment on the outside is smile. On the inside it says, um, hope your day is just dandy. So that was a card that I've made. It was really easy. Again, it was white paper, um, one inch, one eighth of an inch smaller from the card itself for the yellow, and then again for the white. The card is an A2 size card. Now I have received a lot of mail from people back home. Um, we've moved over the summer, and so I've wanted to create um, a little letter that I could send out to them. With this being stamped on the inside, there's not a lot of room for writing, so. What I have uh, thought to do is to create some st um, personalized stationery. So this is one page, one piece of computer paper. I have cut it down to eight, or to two pieces. There we go, I'm just trying to zoom, get everything in, in fitting in the frame. One piece cut by eight by five and a quarter each. So I cut it in half and I just kind of trimmed it so that when it's folded, it'll fit nicely into the card that I've made. So what I thought that I would do is um, just use the lighter green, the shabby shutter, for my little personalized, for the little personalized part. And I thought the lighter color just so it wouldn't bleed through. So I'm going to stamp just here in the corner. And then also on the second one as well. And there we go two easy bases and just to finish off the flower I am going to use the yellow mustard seed so there's one really easy to do and I think it will be nice. I love in the stores seeing stationary sets that match. Um, so I thought why not create some of my own. And I'm going to go ahead and fold it so that way I can tuck it in my card while it waits before I get to write it. I'm dropping everything today. My hands are dry. <laughs> so there we go. I have my personalized stationary that matches my card. So just something quick and easy to do, and I think it will just be a nice touch for, I'm not sure who's going to receive it yet, but anyways, for the person who does, and anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope you're having a great day. Bye!